Well, folks, well, no surprise, we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2 because, look, rumors are going to keep swirling around this thing until it's announced, right? We, and even after then, we know the way the rumor and leak mill works at this point. We're going to have rumors and leaks around games and new versions of the Switch 2 for years to come. That's just the way the rumor mill works. So, sure, uh, this isn't our last rumor on Switch 2, even after it gets revealed. But I will say this, that this rumor to me on the surface seemed pretty far-fetched. But if you combined it with some previous reporting we have done, some other rumors we have covered... You know, it's possible there may be some truth to it. But, you know, when we're talking about this kind of stuff, we have to dig deep and we have to figure out the real story. Because, yes, we're going to be adding a rumor to some already known stuff from 4chan. And that, to me, is fascinating because we don't really cover 4chan stuff here unless we have a reason to. But this particular one has at least a smidge of a reason for us to pay a bit more attention. Now, before we dive in, because this will deal with the possible name of the system. However, I feel like it's probably more like a code name than the real name. But we'll talk about that. And it does deal with a new feature for the system. A couple of them that I think would make us very, very happy. I need to remind you guys that, hey, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so if you want to stay up to date on all things Switch 2, you probably should subscribe to the channel. And I just I want to put a little PSA out there. We need to remember that rumors are not meant to be believed. If you, if you just Google definition. rumor definition, you'll get this you know, definition that seems to come from Oxford, where it says a noun, a rumor is a current circulating story or report of uncertain or doubtful truth. And then if you go over to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, you say talk or opinion widely disseminated with no discernible source or a statement or report currently with out known authority for its truth. Uh, talk of a, of a notable person or event. That's that's an old version uh, that we don't use anymore. So we're focused on these two definitions and specifically this one where our current circulating story report of uncertain or doubtful truth. It's important to remember here that you shouldn't necessarily believe this. Lots of grains of salt, but there is is at least a reason to uh, contemplate the possibility of some truth being told. And this first all began when Paul Gale put this uh, tweet out. We talked about this in a prior video where he said, I cannot verify this firsthand, but something huge just came my way. Supposedly, quite recently, a trailer-like commercial was filmed to promote a certain next-generation console. If this is indeed the case, I think we are one to six weeks away from a reveal. And he said this back on September 10th. So this is all the way back, I believe, on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. And what's fascinating when we look at this is we think, okay, well, Paul Gale Network is very connected. We know this. We've seen the public connections he has to all these Nintendo employees. And what's, well, even just like tangential Nintendo employees, you know, we don't know exactly who his real connections are, but What's interesting is that this seemed to get a little bit of backing, at least somebody else who has heard something similar called Nate Drake, a.k.a. Nate the Hate. Um, and this was brought up over here on Family Boards. We talked about this originally when he said our reset era. And he said, essentially, I have details on a game ad, which is unrelated to any potential Switch 2 reveal from the same source that provided info about the possibility of a Switch 2 trailer being filmed. So you can see Switch 2 trailer being filmed, uh, trailer like commercial was filmed. You can see where these are related to each other. If the game ad slash trailer matches the details given, then it would stand to reason the details about the console trailer are credible. If the game ad information is wrong, then I can dismiss the secondary info. And at this time, he has yet to have the confirmation of the one bit of information he was waiting for him to essentially come out and be like, okay, this must be true because this other thing was true. Now, we already knew this. We already talked about this. So why are we bringing it up again today? Well, we have this thing over on 4chan, and I captured it and put it up here on Twitter. And you can see here where it says, hey, 
Nintendo Superior promo video. Seen rumors of this shit starting to spread online, so I figured I would elaborate on it since I was somewhat involved. Towards the end of August, I took part in the filming of a promotional video for the Switch successor. See where the relation is here. They're calling it Nintendo Superior LMAO. Joy-Cons are magnetic. Hey, look, like all the other rumors. Has analog triggers. Now that's new. We haven't heard about analog triggers yet, so that's new. The Joy-Con design has a groove in it that makes it quite comfortable to hold. So redesigned Joy-Con comfortability, ergonomics, I actually think that's likely. That's one thing that can make it stand out from the current Switch. I, I, I do think that is likely something. Something's been done to make it more ergonomic. And the screen is way bigger than a regular Switch. Probably the same size as the OLED, and he probably didn't have the Switch OLED on him. Uh, there's rumors that it's obviously an 8-inch screen. So if you take those rumors on face value, uh, that's only slightly bigger than the OLED screen, and without the OLED right next to him, he wouldn't be able to tell a massive size difference. Anyways, he says, that's it. I'll stick around for a while to answer any questions, but that's all I know. I don't know any games that are on it. I don't know if it runs at 4K. The console was turned off the entire time, and we were basically pretending to play. I don't know when they'll show it off, or if they'll even use the part I was in. Now, look. Do I think the Nintendo Switch 2 is called Nintendo Superior? No. What we have learned about when they were filming the reveal for the Nintendo Switch, you know, back in middle of September of 2016, was that the actors and actresses on set also did not know the actual name of the system. They used a code name so the name of the system would not actually leak online. The first time we actually heard the name Nintendo Switch was when Nintendo dropped the reveal. And they used the code name that was already public at the time, NX, to refer to the system when they were recording that commercial. And also in that commercial, it is also true that all of the gameplay footage, everything you see, is superimposed on the Switch and on the TV. The actors and actresses were not actually playing games on the Nintendo Switch. This needs to be made very clear. This is standard practice in commercials so things don't leak. Unless it's a game that's already out, they don't actually play the game in the commercials. It's all superimposed. I know that might make you upset. I don't know why it would. So what this person is describing is pretty common knowledge that, hey, we weren't actually playing anything. The screens were off. We never turned on. These probably weren't even working models, if we're completely honest. These could have just been shells, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, and that's assuming that this person on 4chan is even correct. If there was the name Nintendo Superior being used on set, it would have been literally just a code name style thing. It might not even be the code name of the system, but just a way to say something that that's ridiculous. So if it leaked online, just like in this 4chan post, it would be very, very obvious that that is not the name of the system. Of course, the jokes haven't stopped with this. The Nintendo Superior, what happens if uh, Nintendo Switch 2 Lite comes out? Is that called the Nintendo Inferior? If they make a console-only version of it, man, do they call it the Nintendo Interior? And hey, when you do take this thing on the go and leave your home, is that called the Nintendo Exterior? You see the jokes. The jokes go on and on and on. Credit to the Gaming Leaks and Reddit sub forum for those jokes. Uh, we'll put a link to them down there as well because, uh, because of that. Look, I don't really think that this is necessarily true. And again, this, this post even admits that it's building off of currently stuff going around from Paul Gale Network and Nate the Hate. So there's already admittance that this post exists because others are talking about it. But we obviously can't completely dismiss it. It's not entirely crazy to have, you know, talk about the magnetic joy cons, talk about the groove that actually makes it really comfortable to hold, talking about analog triggers. Analog triggers would be something you'd be able to feel as well, even if you can't turn the system on. So that would be something you could tell. You would, you know, if they had the magnetic function working so they could show it in the commercial, right? Show the magnetic function working, uh, then they would be able to tell that as well. So it, it, look, this isn't insane. It is entirely possible this person was involved with the filming of a Nintendo Switch 2 commercial, uh, but this thing's not going to be called the Nintendo Superior. So this post could be true, and we're not really going to know. We're not going to know until the reveal happens. When the reveal trailer happens, 
if it has analog triggers, if it has a groove, if there's a noticeable groove that makes it more ergonomic, that's really going to be the two big things. I mean, the magnetic joy cons as well, but that's going to be the two big things that really confirm that this story in the end ended up being correct. But until that time, we're just not going to know. All we know is rumors and speculation are flying around about the Nintendo Switch 2. And hey, whether the reveal is next week, early October, or not until March of 2025, we are going to see this thing sometime in the next six months. And we'll finally know the truth or the lie behind all these Nintendo Switch 2 rumors over the past couple of years. So let's just... Hold on to our butt cheeks and see what happens because you know what? You know there's going to be more coming. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Dance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.